we're talking robots today with Dallin Adams and Dallin uh, CES 2021 wrapping up now as we've made it to the end of the week pretty much and you know you've done a lot of coverage with the robots and innovation in general and you know the disappointing thing of course is with CES being virtual it's not like in person with with when you're talking about robots really being able to see them up close and watch them or interact with them that's you know what what makes that type of coverage really cool so to do it virtual is is a different kind of ball game for sure yeah it's a it's a lot of tabs a lot of videos and a lot of press releases you know you, you don't really you know it's not the same as i guess watching you know in the past some of the robots we've seen here are like the UB Tech specifically unveiled the, their humanoid called Walker. And in the past, mm -hmm. uh, Walker has been seen, you know, kicking a soccer ball around, bringing people, bringing a, an attendee like chips, bringing a soda out, you know, opening the door. And this year I spoke with a UB Tech representative and instead, you know, uh, he said the transition from in-person to virtual has gone well for them. Uh, and instead, since you couldn't really get the in-person feel, Walker actually hosted uh, their, their virtual booth this, this year, which is pretty cool. Um, they also unveiled some kind of timely innovations, such as uh, these these UVC equipped disinfecting bots. And there's a, it's almost like a standing pillar of sorts that has these uh, vertical UVC lights all around it. And it, there, there were videos, there were uh, photos that show it sort of disinfecting a subway car, for example, a library, uh, a classroom, a, a bedroom. So just sort of the purposes you could see, you might want to sanitize at this point in time or disinfect. Um, and then, yes, yeah, Samsung unveiled a couple of bots. The one that was really cool was this one called uh, Bot Handy. And it's also sort of like this roving podium with this central base and it has this like robotic arm. And there was a video that showed it sort of like at the dishwasher, sort of putting away dishes and- Ooh, I like that. Up, what's that? I like the idea of that. <laughs> I know, right? And there was one of it like picking up like cluttered clothing items. There was a, a really cool one of it like pouring a glass of wine. Yeah, it was just really interesting to see what they had unveiled and you know it was quite impressive still. Even in virtual yeah it always is it's amazing to see what they're able to do and you know uh, one of the things that was getting a good amount of attention uh, that, that people are really interested in is a robot specifically that that can interact a little bit on an emotional level be, you know versus just doing tasks so tell us about this and this sounds really cool actually. Yeah there was this one uh, like little robotic creature. It's, it, I think it's called the Mofflin, spelled M-O-F-L-I-N, and it's from Vanguard Industries. And it's described as, and I quote, a, an AI pet a robot with emotional capabilities. That's what it's described as on its Kickstarter page. Um, you know, it picked up a Best of Innovation Award in robotics this year, so that's something. But yeah, it's just like this little fur ball that has, I guess, like a, a robotic underside, and it's filled with these these sensors and it uses an algorithm and this algorithm allows it to sort of like sense the world around it. They describe it as, and I'm quoting here, um, it lear learn and grow by constantly using its interactions to determine patterns and evaluate its surroundings from its sensors. Um, they also say, to put it simply, it's like you're interacting with a living pet. Ah, uh, uh, except for that you know, it doesn't go to the bathroom on your carpet like mine tends to do every now and again. So I guess that's a benefit, right? <laughs> that, that's a huge benefit, but I think for the time being, I'm going to stick with my, my family's uh, little shit through Peyton. I'm going to prefer him for the time being. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to agree with you on that. There's definitely the uh, perks to having a, a live dog or, or cat living in your home. Uh, well, really interesting. And, you know, uh, Dallin, you've been covering obviously CES all week long and it seems to me i don't know what your, your thoughts are on this but it seems like you know companies have really made the best of just what the situation is you know trying to demonstrate their products and explain it to us the best they can you know without being in person you know i think it's very much one of those life gives you lemons kind of moments and you know we're, we're sipping the lemonade and it's it's not so bad i guess not so bad. They've made the best of it. That's for sure. All right, Dallin, thank you so much. And we appreciate all you watching here today for much more on CES 2021. Make sure you check out Tech Republic.